Good morning, Guardians. It's Friday. It's that time of the week once again. The time that you're so excited that you just have to wet yourself. It's Zerday. The Agent of the Nine is back in the tower. He's opposite the speaker look by this big black door that no one knows where it goes. And he's peddling wares. There's a very mediocre turnout. This could mean only one thing. Tears of Sadness. Red Death Exotic Pulse Rifle, Alchemist Terrainment Chest Armor for Warlocks, Sealed Amkara's <coughs> Grasps Gauntlets for Hunter, and June Marcher's Leg Armor for Titans. Legacy Engram once again, the Tears, a uh, special weapon Engram this time. Ornaments, we've got Not A Toy again, we had this last week for the Zalo Supercell, uh, Exotic Auto Rifle Camo here, and we've got Crucible Assassin. This is an ornament to change the appearance of the exotic sidearm Trespasser. Once a year one favorite, not so powerful now. Obviously we've got kinetic damage, accurized ballistics, field choke, aggressive ballistics, unflinching, snapshot, high caliber rounds, single point sling, and da -da 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 -da, red death. Each kill heals you and speeds up reloads. And that is quite a useful perk. So how's red death? And should you buy it if you've got enough of the strange coinage? Well, if you haven't got it, by all means, add it to your collection. I am uh, an ambassador for collecting exotics, so if you haven't got it, pick it up. Because, maybe, possibly, in the near future, this archetype of pulse rifle may get a little bit of love from the Crucible Balancing Department. As it stands at the moment, it's, it's not exactly underpowered, but it is slightly uncompetitive when we're going up against the current meta Moving on, we've got Alchemist's Raiment, Raiment for the um, Warlock now. Let's have a, a closer inspection. It's quite colourful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now we've got the exotic perk, Iron to Gold. Chance to gain Glimmer on Primary Ammo Pickup. Orbs collected when your super is full, recharge your grenades and melee. So that's not too bad. We've got increased intellect, increased strength, as well as extra ammo for special weapons, extra ammo for heavy weapons. What more could you ask for? Arc burn defense reduces incoming arc burn damage and arc armor. Increased armor when using an arc based subclass. So, should you buy this piece? Well, um, I mean, it sadly doesn't have much use in um, PvP, for example. Uh, a chance to gain glimmer on primary ammo pickup. Of course, that is useful if you're really low on glimmer. So this could be a very handy glimmer farming chess piece for warlocks for certain. And of course, orbs collected when your super is full, recharging your grenades and melee. Now that's not entirely useless altogether either. So there are some very useful perks for this chess piece that have applications in both PvP and PvE. But I would say this is a much more viable chess piece for PvE for definite. Okay, sealed <coughs> Kara's grasps gain an additional melee charge. Melee damage has a chance to automatically road, reload your primary weapon. Okay, increased discipline, increased strength. We've also got switchblade, decreases melee attack cool time, cool time, uh, cool down time. I'm merging words together. That means one thing, folks. Let's sip more coffee. Ah, pronunciation achieved. Impact indu induction. Oh, it didn't work. Bonus grenade, energy on melee hits, sidearm reloader, and machine gun reloader. At the moment, there are much better options, in my opinion. Shinobu's Vow, for example. We've also got the uh, original Ahamkara's uh, gauntlets. Um, so, yeah, if you're skimping on strange, I'd probably give these guys a miss. I mean, the gain an additional melee charge and uh, reload your primary weapon, that does have an application in PvP, if, if we're being very fair. But, however, is it going to replace some of the more uh, more potent exotic gaunt gauntlets that we have for hunt hunters at the moment? Is it really? But, yeah, if you're a collector, pick them up for certain. Um, if you're not and you're skimping on strange coins, maybe give those a miss, in my opinion. But you can contest my opinion, as always, in the comments section. Moving on, June Marchers, exotic booties for the titans get them video finished there you go should you be picking these up absolutely these are fantastic i actually prefer them to the twilight garrison at the moment i know a lot of hardcore titan players out there were going oh, what are you talking about no not the garrison the garrison's the best it, the garrison is great and it is definitely a, one of the top tier exotics for titans but i really love these having the extra sprint speed i just feel super fast i can feel the wind flowing through my hair so uh, I, I really enjoy these moving faster while 
aiming your weapon as well is great and having a tighter sprinting turn radius is incredible for evading all kinds of uh, things in the crucible as well as pve so these are 100 percent get them that ladies and gentlemen is this week's hairy face visage de lemongrass review i hope you're having a lovely time in the iron banner if you've had any particularly sweet uh, drops happen in iron banner please post those in the comments we'll look forward to reading them and very welcome matchmaking changes have landed and are live in the crucible at the moment there is a post uh, on um, bungie.net if you want to go and have a read of what exactly has been happening with that anyway folks i will love you and leave you thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves take care of each other and remember smokers a kipper we'll be back for breakfast